I just want you to watch this video and tell me what you have gotten from this video. Even in Nigeria, I still see it. It's there. The, the footprints of colonialism are all over that country. Nigeria should have never been a country. The difference in ideology from the northern side to the southern is just like insane, you know? And then when um the like when the eastern side tried to corner off and form Biafra, mm. it was like the the ex-colonists were like, no, we don't want that. So they instead empower Nigeria to crush that country. And they're like, no, we want you guys to stay like this so we can continue to pillage and take all of your resources. And it's like the footprints of colonialism are still all over Nigeria. It's in the shape of the country. It's in the map. Like, And it's like, okay, now we're here. How do we fix this? British actor, Laura DBC, she said that Nigeria was never meant to become a country. This is not coming from my mouth. This is coming from a British actress. I believe she should be a Nigerian with the name DBC from the Southwest. She said she's so concerned that Nigeria was never meant to become a country. So when we talk about Nigeria balkanizing, some people will just take it as an offense. You don't want uh, progress for Nigeria. You're not praying for Nigeria. You are enemies of Nigeria. Nigeria, Nigeria, any political leader at this point in time that is not talking about a regional system or a system whereby there will be separate powers between the north, east, and west. That 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 politically that does not mean well for the country called Nigeria. Awolowo said that Nigeria is a mere geographical expression. Bonaboy also came out to say the same thing that Nigeria was never meant to become one. These people are people that are traveling. They have gone far and wide and they are seeing the handwritings on the wall. They are seeing that this is just a mirage. No matter how good that person is, if he becomes president, the structure will corrupt him. He cannot achieve anything. I'm telling you, no matter what Tunubu does, hard decisions, hard decisions, this, that, appointment, appointment, it will amount to nothing. It is not a cause. It is something, if you have a bad and faulty foundation, you cannot achieve anything on that foundation. Like I said, APC supporters are expecting to plant evil and reap good. How is that possible? According to her, she said, the ideological differences between the North and South are enough reasons for the country not to exist. Listen, the ideological differences between the North and South are enough reasons uh, for Nigeria not to exist. We are different people ideologically. And there's one thing about ideology. Ideology, you can't change ideology. If you are going to change ideology, you, you need to be dedicated wholeheartedly to a people, a certain people. Sleepless nights, put out words, carry out propaganda, carry out media agendas to want to change an ideology which nobody can do in africa in nigeria you cannot change an ideology do you know what it means to be you know what that ideology means the northern ideology do you think that all these things they are doing book around this uh we are we are we are winning the war against book Haram. we are willing the islamic ideology do you know what it means that spanned for years that has seen its up and downs Islamic ideology. Islamic ideology is not good for Nigeria. Because if there is an Islamic ideology, there is also other ideologies that are in contrast with Islamic ideology. In contrast, down in down downwards the south is the Islamic ideology cannot work. Monarchical system of government, feudal system of government, these are ideologies that they cannot work in the southeast or probably the south south the south is they they do republican that's why you have age grades that's why in quote it seems as if they don't have a central person that pilot the affairs of that region when you look at the southwest and look at the north the southwest monarchical the north feudal system of government that is why any leaders that have been produced from the west and the north they follow that trajectory. Look at Tinubu. He's not operating like a Democrat that he claimed. 
that he is. Because you no, know, these guys have lied to us over the years. They have distorted history. Their 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 way and manner is just to lie and propaganda. So he told us that he is a Democrat. And look at the way he's handling Nigeria. And look at the way he handled Lagos. A Democrat. Then fast forward to a Buhari. Feudalism. These are ideologies that these people have with them that is is be, has become their way of life and their culture, their tradition. So how do you clash these peoples together and think that they will be one country? So it's not possible. She made valid points. And every leader, any Igbo leader that is not speaking about Nigeria, not, uh, not, not balkanizing or looking at other ways that we can achieve development for the people, if it's regional, if it's restructuring, they don't want betterment for the country. If you are a Yoruba politician, you are not speaking on this. You don't want better for your society and for your people. If you are, uh, if you are the um, Fulani, Aosa, whatever construct they have there, and you're not speaking about this, you don't want the betterment of your society. Why? You know, somebody told me, a Southwesterner told me that he has more advantage than me. He's well much more placed than me in politics in the, because he's, the, he's a Yoruba man. He's much more placed than me. You see, one thing about monarchical system of government is that if very few people benefit from the government, it does not spread. It does, does not spread. Republicanism, a, a large number of people are benefiting from the system. Few down. Very few sets of people will benefit from, from the system. Why a large number of people will be impoverished. Feudalism is even worse in our, in our today's world. Feudalism is worse. King, servant, monarchic, ruler, subject. So he told me point blank that I have, I have more advantage than you in Nigeria. And I told him, when you look at the statistics of millionaires in the southeast when you look at statistics of billionaires in the southeast when you look at statistics of billionaires in the southwest and statistics of millionaires in the north you see that the the the, the, the wealth is spread well spread amongst the southeasterners while in the southwest it is spread amongst a certain egbe, egbe, egbe. in the north it's spread among a certain people so which one is much more um good for the masses for the people it is the southeastern republican system so all these presidents that come in the guise of democracy uh Trubu comes with democracy you can see how he's running the government like a monarchical leader see the way Buhari did this and so on and so forth these are ideologies that you bring together and you expect nigeria to become one country it is not possible for nigeria to become one country with this kind of ideologies and you know ideologies are very hard very hard for you to uh dismantle even if, has there been any ideology that have been dismantled you can only dismantle an, an ideology when you eliminate the people that has totally that has that ideology but for the fact that you cannot eliminate those persons ideology stands some people listening to this broadcast may be angry why am I always calling for the balkanization of Nigeria? Like I said, this current structure does not help anybody achieve anything. It only helps a few number of persons. If you are a Southwesterner because the President Bola Metunubi is in power and you think that you are at an advantage, my, my brother, you don't, understand, you don't understand power. You don't understand influence. You don't understand it. And you don't even understand Nigeria. For the fact that a particular person is there does not mean that you are going to get your benefit. Because that's the, the mindset, mindset of some people. The structure that is going to help you is when there is a regional system of government. For the first 20 to 30 years, there will be massive move for development. Massive move for restructuring. You see, people will just fold their sleeves and start working. If there is something that has to do with uh, slacking behind or whatever, the people will rise against it ASAP. Because when you see your brother 
from the other side, from the north, taking policies, building, restructuring, and from the east, they are doing the same thing. So what happens in the southwest? Because now it seems the southwest, when we talk about, the, when we talk about development in the southwest, we talk about only Lagos. We are not talking about Ogun State. We have six states in the southwest. Uh, six states in the southwest. Ogun State, Oyo, Oshun, Ekiti. We are not talking about all these states. Of when we talk about development, when there's a regional system, you see that there will be a compulsory move to industrialize massive road networks, massive development. You see that people will naturally just rise up to the occasion. But we haven't we having this system, nothing can happen. It is only playing, they can only they are just working hard to play on the minds of Nigerians. How far? Somebody said that I'm not, um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm an evil person, that I'm not wishing well for Nigeria. See, my life would be better. But this Nigeria you see, this Nigeria you see, I don't think that Nigeria will get better anytime soon. I'm well over 30 and I've seen people talk about Nigeria and trying to muzzle everybody into believing that Nigeria will get better. While there's a worse, and the, the, one of the worst structures in the world, the structure of criminality, the structure of feudalism, the structure of monarchy, the structure of colonialism. If you listen to what she said, she said, even at that, from the east, they decided to break away. But yet, the colonial masters decided to push the north and south to fight against the east. The reason why we are having the north and southwest putting their hands together, making sure that no easterner comes these are this is these are unwritten constitutions these are unwritten agreement making sure that no easterner ascends that throne and i'm very 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 happy with the fight that is going on between them now they can do all sorts of things they can but they can't boo-boo the other time they are trying to find a way to appeal to the south easterners to join that is the north to join them in the struggle to 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 fight the southwest the Southwest is not strong. The reason why you see the Southwest standing is because the Southeast, the South South, they are somehow indifferent. If the Southeast or the South South decides to pick sides with the North, the Southwest stands no chance of anything. Go to any state. Southeasterners are amongst whether from the first to third or first to fourth largest. If they are not second largest population, they are third largest population. If they are not third largest population, they are either fourth largest population. In some cases, they might be fifth largest population in any state in Nigeria. To tell you the amount of, if the Southeasterners make it a decision to align with the Northerners, the North is gone, the Southeast is gone, South South is gone, even Southwest, you struggle with Southwest. So the reasons why the Southwest are trying to pull their shoulder, shoulder is because the Southeast have taken a stand that they are not going to be part of this construct because these guys are wise men. So the wise men came from the East. They are wise men that have seen the future of the country, that this country amounts to nothing with this present construct and with the evil people, conscienceless people in power. Nothing can be achieved with this type of structure somebody is saying that he understands what nigerians are passing through yet he has not sacrificed anything for nigeria your president said he understands what nigerians are passing through that nigerians should, should sacrifice he has not sacrificed tell me one thing that tinubu has sacrificed for nigeria before he became president he is well to do in fact the next 50 years, he's still going to be what he is. He doesn't need food. He doesn't need anything. He doesn't need anything. If he relaxes and stays one place, he has no problem. His children will be okay and fine. Everything he needs is given to him. But why is it that these people want to ascend to power, kill to ascend to power, and make sure life is unbearable for Nigerians? Are we not asking ourselves this question? Why is it that these people as comfortable as they are, as 
billionaires in investments in dollars as well to do as they are. They still want to hold on to power and more impoverish the lives of Nigerians the more. I'm telling you that these people are mad people. They don't have conscience. They are not Yorubas or outside of Igbos. You should think you are. They are not there for you. I don't know how I'm going to say this. Some people are afraid because it's a tribal thing now. Nigerians think it's a tribal thing. These guys do not send you. If their policies kill you, so be it. Most Yorubas have, have been, are, are dead as a result of the negligence of a, Yoruba, a supposed Yoruba government, in quote. Yorubas are losing it. Yorubas are losing their jobs, losing their means of li livelihood, are into trouble, are into debt because of the policies of a Yoruba man, in quote. So when you don't have sense, have sense. It is the ideology of the Southwest to have a monarch and we have subjects. That's why we have Oni of Ife, Alake of Egbaland, we have Oba of Lagos, we have so many of them, so many of them which are respected. Whatever they say, what they say, they are respected. Awujale, they are well respected. And these people, their system of government would not benefit a number of people. When you go to those kingdoms, you see that the people that are well-to-do are within the palace and few chiefs. Every other person, every other person looks like a pauper. Development does not really spread to the people. It hovers around the monarchs. Every other person is a pauper. Have you not watched the, the, the whatever, the kingdoms? Have you not seen how kingdoms operate, how monarchs operate? And look at how democracies operate. Democracy extends the development to the doorstep of the, of the people, where the people have a right, a say. Monarchical system of government, you don't have a right, you don't have a right to say, to speak against the king. It is impossible. Feudalism is even worse. It's even worse. The development is situated around a number of persons. Not sep not extended to the, the when you see that when you look at statistics, when you look at billionaires in Nigeria, we have single 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 billionaires in the north and the southwest. Billionaires, richest men in Nigeria are from the north and the southwest. Yes, see, so it is the singularity of one or two, three, four, five persons that gets the wealth with some other people surrounding him. But when you go to the Southeast, it is evenly distributed. Millionaires are much more in the Southeast. Many, many millionaires than every other region in Nigeria. See that ideology, that system. So if he is saying that this system is not going to work because we are ideologically different from each other, nothing should prosper under these circumstances i'm doing this broadcast so that i can open your head to understand to understand this i've given anal analogies the system the southwest operates it operates and gives life to a number of persons the north operates the system and ideology it gives life to a number of persons the south is it is evenly spread out and this is the system, the structure that Nigeria is working on. A monarchical or a feudal, if it is the north that gets there, they do feudalism. If it is the south that gets there, they do monarchical. And it is not going to bring development to you that you are watching me. Over the years, road network, water, uh, health care ambulances, not effective. Somebody will just go tomorrow and build one house and build one school. Qualified teachers are not there. Equipping the laboratories are not there. The, 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 uh, the, the quality of education is not there. But they will just use the building to deceive you. Who, how many of you can build schools like my governor? But that state you are talking about, with the potentials in it, is not top five when it comes to academics in, the, in Nigeria. So it is, you see, monarchical, all this system, they are just deceit, deceiving you just to empower a few people. So far, we remain in this structure. 
Nigeria will not see development. It's only going to be development for the elite. I repeat, democracy, government of the people, for the people and by the people. Now, come back to explain who these people are. The people are the politicians, the elite, the ruling class, the upper class. It is not you that you are not the, in this strata. So democracy is a government of the rich, for the rich, and by the rich. The earlier you get this, the better. So quit tribalism. You are going to live on this surface of earth. You die and go, not even achieving anything because you supported tribalism. Your children will not even amount to anything because you supported tribalism. If, you, if, you, if there's a repercussion for evil in this life, do you want to think that if you live an evil life, when you die, there's a repercussion somewhere else? If there's a, an effect, cause and effect, on anything you do in this present life, if you put your hand in fire, and fire, there's a consequence of the fire burning your finger, you think that you do what is evil here, and you go over there, you will not have repercussion. Keep deceiving yourselves. Support evil. And when you support evil, and eventually you die, you are going to reap what you have supported at the end of the day. So let us speak up and make sure we educate our people on how to choose for a better structure that will develop the people and not the elite.